Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Eric 740T here. I just wanted to show you how to. Um, this could actually work on any micro quadcopter. Um, how to put an FPV system on a micro quad. If you own Fat Shark, you have to own Fat Shark. Uh, first thing you're going to need the TX5805 from Walkera. Um, I've already checked it out, I've completely tested it. It works um, with the Fat Shark goggles. But you have to set it up on channel. What channel was it? It is set up on channel 8. It has to be set up on channel 8. Um, and it will work. It works quite well, actually. The range isn't going to be real long. Um, second thing I'm going to need is some connectors. You know, and this, this transmitter can be powered with a single cell without a problem. Um, you need some connectors. I chose Walkera. Um, just male, female, I got a whole bunch of them for real cheap so that'll work for me. The battery is actually well care and I was thinking about making a plug and play like thing like that but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder uh, one directly to the board which would be another female and then I'm going to have a male connected. I cut off the stock connector on the Walkera um, video camera transmitter and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder let me get the quad copter out of the way I'm going to solder a female, since the males have pins, I'm going to solder a female onto the Walkera. And I don't normally solder like this, it looks kind of, that's not my normal style, but these wires are so small and I was having a hard time doing anything else with them. So all I'm going to do is, I got little pieces of heat shrink here, I'm going to bend them, bend these over and heat shrink over them afterwards. Uh, I got my butane soldering iron as usual. I'm going to crank that up, just clean it up. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, uh, I tried my um, smaller solder like this, and it's just, it, I, I never have good luck with that solder, so I, I still want one of my thick stuff. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, of course, uh, tin and pre tin and clean my uh, tip. Cool. Alright, one, two, okay, so those are done, uh, those are soldered together, let me turn my iron down, clean it real quick, it's butane so I don't like to waste all my gas, I turn it down when I'm not using it, alright, so I got those done. See, I, I, I don't normally solder like that, but I'm just going to fold them over and uh, heat shrink them like that. I, I know the proper way to solder, guys, and I know this is not it, but these wires were difficult for me to work with here. And positive, I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to pull my, just pull my heat shrink tubing over it. All right. So this would be considered female since the male pins go into it. Um, I like to call it a male because it's going into the other thing, but it, it matters about the pins, what you call it. All right, forget that piece. Let's uh, heat shrink the, uh, I'm just going to heat shrink the power. You need some pretty small heat shrink tubing, unfortunately. And I just use my butane soldering iron actually to do my heat shrinking. Works quite well. Doesn't leave any burn marks. Alright. That side's done. Now I'm going to move over to the, the negative. Uh, same thing on the negative side here. Slide the heat shrink over. It's difficult to do this while I'm trying to aim it on the camera because I wouldn't normally hold it like this. Anyways, I'm heat shrinking down the negative heat shrink tubing. Needs, like I said, you need some pretty small tubing here. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Uh, okay, let's restart that. 
kind of want to want to work your way around. Still doing a positive as well. Heat it all up, get it all shrunken down there. Go in between. All right, let me turn this down. I don't lose all my gas. Still got quite a bit. All right, so squeeze on those a little. They'll dry hardened like you squeezed them. All right, so now we got our connector onto the TX5805. And I'm sorry I'm on my front facing cam, but it's not too bad. It's on my Galaxy S4, by the way. Okay, so this has to be set on channel 8. The TX5805, uh, it comes with a little instruction manual. Basically, it's upside down. The first two jumpers here are up. And on the second part, jumper number one is up, jumper number two is down. That's channel eight. And you can flip through your channels on your Fat Shark and it will work. I promise you that. Uh, I've already tried it out, it works fine. So that's for this. I, the only reason I wanted a connector in here is because I want it removable from from the quad if I want to use it on something else. Okay, so transmitter, video transmitter done, I'm set that to the side. Um, next thing is my soldering uh, this is this one's gonna be touchy I'm gonna turn the heat up quite a bit on this one now I've already pre tinned these and obviously you can see that's the male I would call it a female because the other part goes in it but it's a male because it's got pins that's how it works in electronics so, I'm going to directly solder to the board. I've already pre tinned a little more on the board than was originally there, where the power um, positive and negative come out. The reason I wanted to do it like this was because I didn't want to take away any power coming through these, because these wires are a lot smaller than these going to the board, which would power the motor, so I don't want to take any of that away. So, what I'm doing is just soldering this on. Um, I could either have cut this and then solder right onto there, or I could have just done it right here like I'm going to. And uh, we'll go ahead and do negative first. Everything is already pre tinned, like I said, so when it's pre tinned, all we do is we go in, heat all the way up for me. You guys probably aren't going to be able to see this, but I'm going to try. Wire number one is done. It's on there. Now, like I said, I pre tinned it, so that makes it a whole lot easier. I'm going to heat up wire number two. This is the positive. It's a much smaller space to work with, and it's going to wiggle around on me. Let's go. Whew! It's hot. Wired them, choose them. Okay. And it, whenever you're soldering to a PCB board, do not put that on there. Put, do not put this hot iron on there for the very long. That's why I use a very high temp all the way up uh, because you just want to contact it. Okay. So I got that connected there. Um, I'm going to put a tiny dab of hot glue here and here just to make sure that you know I don't make contact with something I don't want to but anyways now you see I have the female male I'm sorry this will plug into the battery on the bottom and then this will feed what I've already soldered up on my transmitter come on Oh, come on. Jesus. Tight connect. What? I bought these together. Oh, let's see what happened. The pins got bent down a little. I don't know how. But... I don't know how that happened anyway. But, uh, 
then this will plug right in. Should. Alright, there you go. Then I'll have my, this will be a powered video camera. And I'm going to sit it right on top of the canopy. But this way, now that I've soldered it like this, I can easily remove it from this model and just let this one hang if I want to use it on something else. See what I'm saying? So, I can use this on any other of my micros too. And all it needs is a one cell. You can use a two cell as well. It won't damage this. Uh, one or two cell is fine for this uh, video camera and transmitter. I've already verified it works with the Fat Shark Goggles V2. Uh, channel 8, set it up on this channel 8, and you might have to f uh, change through your channels on your goggles in order to find out which one um, works, but you'll find it right away. Um, channel 8, it comes in the instructions, you'll figure out channel 8. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and next thing you'll be seeing is this thing flying FPV when I record it through my uh, little crappy, whatever it's called, the little, uh, converter that comes out of my goggles and goes into my computer. Thanks for watching guys. And this video I think is it's gonna be awesome I'm telling you.